Walking alone, the streets are empty The only thing I can see is my own silhouette I'm getting stronger, step by step The clock is ticking, but there's no time for me I've been flying from town to town From London to Taiwan I've been all around the globe Trying to protect your soul Yo, what is up everyone and welcome in the first ever episode in this series of main event ladies and gentlemen, something tells me you're not going to hate it, you're going to like this little series, this this little this little show should I say, all made myself and ladies and gentlemen we are here at Minneapolis and it looks like Mandy Rose is heading into the ring to make her entrance because she's facing Nikki Bella tonight and oh it seems like an interviewer wants to to talk to her she says she can beat every woman in the roster without Sonya and I don't believe that I don't believe that at all you you got a great talent man but but not that much and she's now heading into the ring to make her entrance and of course here she is look at the entrance though all the fans are so happy to see her because it is what it is she is a beautiful woman she is an absolutely beast she is she's a princess to me and yeah even though there is no Corey Graves there is original gaming to tell you that to tell you how beautiful she is but we are not here tonight to talk about her we're not here tonight to talk about the beauty of the super we're just here to to see some live action and that's what exactly is going to happen and ladies and gentlemen like you see on the thumbnail we are going to have a Tommaso Ciampa versus Noam Dar for the 24-7 championship here not in the main event in the main event I got another little surprise for you you have to stay to look at the main event or you can just scroll if you want to not if you're in premiere though so like i said you will have to stay and watch almost the whole video because something tells me all the matches here tonight you're going to love them and of course nikki bella making her entrance and like i said in a smackdown video all women are banned at ringside we had an interview with nikki bella last time and this time we were having we had an interview with mandy rosie it wasn't uh, a great interview because immediately she left but like I said no woman here at ringside no Brie Bella no Sonia Deville no any other woman just the two girls one-on-one -on -one showing what they really have to offer here even though it's main event for me it's like it's like a kind of a pay-per-view we're giving chances to women and other superstars we are not great at the main roster we are not making a lot of appearances at the main roster and so on go on 101 Mandy Rose against Nikki Bella and they are locking in together and Nikki Bella immediately twisting that arm twisting the arm on the back now Mandy Rose getting her onto the ground, twisting the arm onto the ground. Ooh, and she she made little knees to the arm. Of course, it is Mandy Rose. Nikki Bella escapes, getting some kicks into the guts of Mandy Rose, getting her onto the corner. What does she have in mind now? Ooh, backbreaker on the knee right there. And just taunting. She's just taunting here with the chop. What does she have in mind? Showing her strength right there. 
putting Mandy Rose onto the ground, going for the pin immediately. One, two, is it over? Three, no, it's not over. Nikki Bella asked the referee to count a little bit faster, and I can understand that. Ooh, body slam onto the ground. Nikki Bella goes for the top rope. Nikki Bella sees it. Great. Nikki Bella. Ooh, and she missed it. She missed it. And Mandy Rose take advantage of that. Ooh, and get her onto the ground. With an amazing move from Mandy Rose. Into the corner. Nikki Bella goes with the forearm for Mandy Rose. And Mandy Rose taunting on her turn now. This time at the audience. She turns around and sees Nikki Bella crawling. Oh, slap. Of course, she does the slap because she is a heel after all, twisting the neck right now. She's twisting that neck, getting her to the ground. Picking her up again with an amazing forearm this time. What is she going to do? Using the robes bulldog on Nikki Bella. A move that only Mandy Rose can make. One, two, three. No. Not a three count. And this time Mandy Rose asking Nikki Bella. Asking the referee, sorry, to tap faster. Oh, and she get Nikki Bella with the hair back onto the ground. This is savage. This is absolutely savage. Nikki Bella getting up. And immediately taking advantage of Mandy Rose turning him back. If I can give you one tip is never turn your back to your opponent in a match. Nikki Bella with the clothesline onto Mandy Rose. And what a match for the first time ever here in main event. Getting her up to the third rope. Nikki Bella now she's going big. She's going big. No way, she's going for the suplex, suplex hit, immediately making a cover, going for the pin, one, two, three, no, Mandy Rose kicks out, oh and she immediately gets up and Nikki Bella gets her back onto the ground with the backbreaker on her knee, Nikki Bella preparing herself, what does she have in mind? amazing forearm from Nikki Bella and this match is going both ways who's going to win it Mandy Rose or Nikki Bella with the slap again for Mandy Rose and getting Nikki Bella against to the ground twisting that neck again come on Mandy Rose come on getting her up what does she have in mind Nikki Bella now Went over the top rope and Mandy Rose slapping her onto the ground. Mandy Rose got a little ID in her mind right there as Nikki Bella is getting up. Mandy Rose crossbody onto Nikki Bella. This is absolutely crazy. Getting her back. No, I thought she was going back into the ring but she fell on the steps. Oh, this time onto the barricade. Punching her and the referee is almost at 10. And Mandy Rose decides to go back into the ring. As Nikki Bella is crawling, Mandy Rose is hoping that Nikki Bella isn't making it into the ring again. But she exactly makes it into the ring. She's turning Mandy Rose. They are talking to each other and Nikki Bella goes into the ring. Mandy Rose trying to punch her, but Nikki Bella gets the upper hand. Punching her, punching her again. Nikki Bella now, close lining. Mandy Rose over the top rope and Nikki Bella is taunting. What a match ladies and gentlemen, what a match. Like you see, you got every little reason to step by here in main event. Because every match is going to be interesting. This is the opening match. Imagine all the matches, like we are having three matches per main event. This is one of them. So the two other matches will be very interesting as well. And everything can happen. Don't forget, Tommaso Ciampa is a 24-7 champion. And he can pin, be pinned everywhere. Literally everywhere. Where a referee is. Because you can't pin someone if there is no referee. 
Nikki Bella taunting again. So maybe in the meantime, as we we're watching this match, Tommaso Ciampa can get pinned backstage. And I don't know why Tommaso Ciampa is is appearing here at main event because if I was a 24-7 champion, I will never be on another show again. I will keep the title for myself a long time and Nikki Bella defending herself. Nikki Bella Ooh, going for a finisher. Nikki Bella taunting the crowd right now, saying she is ready, getting Mandy Rose again. Why, does the, why didn't she go for a pin? Getting her into the ropes. Close line, no! Mandy Rose escapes and Mandy Rose going for the forearm kick. Ooh, and she hit her signature. Mandy Rose hits her signature and this is over. It is over. She's going for it. No, Nikki Bella! Nikki Bella counters. Oh, and Mandy Rose counters. Mandy Rose with the close line. Taunting to the fans right now. Literally, this match is, is crazy. Two women fighting it all. No friend signature move from Nikki Bella. Like I was going to say, no one to oh taunting her. She says she's a loser. But I'm going to say it again. No one is interfering because everybody is banned at ringside. Oh, Mandy Rose with a forearm. Mandy Rose again a signature for Mandy Rose. Is it over? Is it over? Mandy Rose onto the second rope. Mandy Rose, no. Nikki Bella escapes it. Nikki Bella escapes it. Getting Mandy Rose onto the ground. She is hitting the ropes, so Nikki Bella has to let go, but she is having none of it. She is having none of it. Twisting her neck. Oh, Mandy Rose getting out of it. With some elbows onto the stomach. Mandy Rose is exhausted, getting Nikki Bella on her turn onto the ground with the kick and to the back. And like I said, Nick, Mandy Rose is exhausted. Nikki Bella rolled out of the ring. She is exhausted as well. Everybody seems to giving up. Oh, Mandy Rose, she got a counter on name. Nikki Bella taunting now. And Mandy Rose got in for it again. Nikki Bella, clothesline, clothesline again. Oh, drop kick. From Nikki Bella, the fearless one, the ex of John Cena. Ooh, signature move is hit by Nikki Bella. Is she going for her finisher? It doesn't seem like it for him from Mandy Rose. And Mandy Rose again for her signature. Is it over? Is it over for Nikki Bella? It seems like Nikki Bella can't hit her finisher to Mandy Rose, but Mandy Rose always countering and this time she's hitting her finisher she's going for it and it hits she planted it is she going to pin her though no she asked for her to stay up again oh Nikki Bala is waking up Ooh, with the slap from Mandy Rose oh scratching her back and Nikki Bala doesn't like it getting her again with the shot and two the back and she's stunting the fans again of course she is but this is stays very interesting who's going to win it because it's going every way right now Ooh, hitting her head into the mat like I said it's going everywhere it can be Nikki Bella the winner it can be Mandy Rose this is literally a match from two women who hate each other getting her to the ground Nikki Bella, a move we haven't seen before from her. Oh, getting her into the ground again with her forearm, her own forearm. Nikki Bella getting her into the ropes. Close line, no, Mandy Rose escapes it. Forearm for Mandy Rose. Oh, and another shot. Punch, should I say, from Mandy Rose. Another punch. And Mandy Rose now thinking, but. Amazing move from Mandy Rose, getting Nikki Bella onto the ground. She's going for the pin, going for it. one, two. And Nikki, ba hey, Nikki Bella got a rope break, but but the ref didn't saw it. The ref didn't saw the rope break. So Mandy Rose is your winner. Come on, ref. Come on, ref. Oh, Brie Bella is here to save 
Nikki Bella. Oh, close line. Behind. It isn't in the match though, it is after the match, so this is legal. And Mandy Rose escaping. And knee buster. And to Brie Bella, as you know, she was hurt on the knees. She say Nikki Bella is a little girl crying and again knee buster onto the knees and Mandy Rose trying to get Brie Bella injured oh and now slapping her out of the ring and the referee can't do anything about it he absolutely can't do anything about it why does Brie Bella have to save her sister and now she's taunting but ladies and gentlemen don't forget Yesterday, should I say, at SmackDown Live, our new, our first ever 24-7 champion is Tommaso Ciampa. When he was leaving the building, he met Noam Dar. And things went very quickly as Noam Dar was attacking Tommaso Ciampa. He was the only one at the parking lot at the moment trying to get that 24-7 championship. But Tommaso Ciampa got the upper hand again. And this time Tommaso Ciampa went off running and ladies and gentlemen, this is exactly the recapitulation that you need to tune in into that match as Jojo is making it official. It is the 24-7 championship that is on the line. And first, it is Noam Dar getting into the ring. He's happy to have a shot finally for the 24-7 championship. And he is excited. He's absolutely excited with that face expression though. And yeah, like you see, he is excited. We might see a new 24-7 champion here. Sooner than later. Sooner than we thought. Imagine if we saw a new 24-7 champion here tonight. Tommaso Ciampa would have like the belts one day. Easily one day. But don't forget the strap from the uh, from the belt. I can't talk anymore. The strap from the belt is blue because Tommaso Ciampa is from the blue brand. If someone from Wow had to manage to take that belt away from Tommaso Ciampa, then the belt would be red. So that's a little recapitulation of the belt right there. And like I said before on smackdown if you didn't hear it or saw it or or something like that go watch it again but like i said ladies and gentlemen if you have the 24 7 belt you can go anywhere on every brand you want you can go on raw as you can go on smackdown as you can go on main event and much more on pay-per-view you are always welcome so ladies and gentlemen tomaso champa is making his way into the ring with the title around his waist and he is looking confident as well as you see the background from Johnny Gargano is just because Tommaso Ciampa isn't in the game and we had to download him from community creations but this is just a little detail we don't mind it and Tommaso Ciampa right now looking very confident He's not afraid, he's not even looking behind him as someone can easily attack him. But no one has the guts, no one is maybe here at main event. Because hey, if I was if I am a main roster and I have a match in main event, I wouldn't be that happy. I wouldn't be that happy at all because that means that they don't have time for your bullshit on the main roster, so they give you a little TV time here at main events a little show but it's always interesting to give the others a little tv time even though Tommaso Ciampa is for me a number one in the main roster not Noam Dar Nikki Bella and Mandy Rose are number one of the rosters for me so but they had absolutely they have to have absolutely a match because Next week the roster on SmackDown will be stacked as well. And I already began to make the worst the, the matches from WoW. And literally you're going to love it. You're absolutely going to love it. What I put through 
as Jojo is announcing the champion and the challengers right there she's making it absolutely a hundred percent official we're going to see what Tommaso Ciampa has to say about it what Tommaso Ciampa has to defend his title about showing off why right there and ladies and gentlemen I have also to admit that WWE made some signings as you saw a lot of NXT superstars are on the main roster is because we don't make NXT anymore and we had three little signings a little bit more than three signings we signed Walter we signed Jordan Devlin we signed Matt Riddle we signed Nikki Cross and Tony Storm so they are on on every brand right there and both men was were taunting right there but Tommaso Ciampa takes the advantage Noam Dar a little bit too much taunting and Tommaso Ciampa working on the back of Noam Dar throwing him into the world right now and like I said working on the back of, to of Noam Dar this is brutal it only began and it's already brutal kicked him into the corner oh face first onto the turnbuckle going for the pin one two three no not three referee only counted two it is also the beginning of the match so it would be crazy that if we were already at three and no i'm down now getting the upper hand both men giving it everything even though it's the beginning of the match and Noam Dar now making almost the same move as Tommaso Ciampa did to him and now getting the knee into the back of his head kick him into the guts with the punch another weird kind of punch should I say and Tommaso no uh, Noam Dar sorry throwing him onto the ropes Noam Dar now getting into the third rope he's going for it ooh just stamping onto Tommaso Ciampa he just stamped on him and Tommaso Ciampa with the counter right there getting Noam Dar out of the ring what is he going to do spear this match is already brutal this match is already brutal and Tommaso Ciampa got his in his mind suicide dive immediately on Noam Dar and he's now throwing him almost onto the post but he hit the apron before what does he have in mind? Getting him up. Maybe he's going for a power bomb. No, it doesn't look like a power bomb. He hit the power bomb onto the post and hitting the power bomb now. Besides the post, Tommaso Ciampa maybe with the same tactic as Mandy Rose. No, he decides to go after Noam Dar. He wants to win this match legally, should I say? And now getting him into the post. To Again, hitting him to the post. He has something with that post. At the end of the night, Noam Dar will never see that post again. He he don't want to see that post again at the end of the night. Absolutely not. Tommaso Ciampa now joining the third rope. As he's going for... Oh, he decides to stomp on Noam Dar again. But Noam Dar gets out of it. But Tommaso Ciampa hit it. I don't know how he made it but he make he made a good move right there with the super kick onto Noam Dar Noam Dar no Tommaso Ciampa sorry with the suplex on Noam Dar those names those names I it's not the first time I I am uh, yeah it's not the first time that I'm not saying the right name with the kick onto the knees where Tommaso Ciampa is hurt, where Tommaso Ciampa wears that brace. Oh, close line from Noam Dar. And it's now Noam Dar getting the upper hand, doing some weird things with his hands. Getting Tommaso Ciampa up. What is he going to do? A little suplex in the middle of the ring. Getting up right there with the face lock. Oh, Noam Dar hitting that forearm, hitting that forearm again, 
And again, getting him into the ropes, tucking under, backing above. Oh, when he throws him away, above his shoulders. Now working on these eyes. I'm almost sure this is illegal, and this move we saw earlier, yesterday, should I say. Oh, with the close line from Noam Dar right there. No, I'm down now joining the third rope. Ooh, and Tommaso Ciampa gets out of it. What does Tommaso Ciampa have in mind? Finisher. He's going for his finisher outside of the ring. But even if he taps out, he won't be... He, he, yeah, this match won't be ca cancelled off because it's not legal if you tap out outside of the ring. Getting back into the ring. What does he have in mind now? He's just looking at Noam Dar, he's looking at his prey. For um, Ooh, neck breaker, and two. Noam Dar going for the pin. One, two, this might be over three, no. Noam Dar gets out of it. Weird, but surely Noam Dar gets out of it. And like I said, this is a quality match. This is a five star match getting onto the second rope. Swanton bomb missed by Tommaso Ciampa, Noam Dar getting him up right there. Oh, Noam Dar gets him out of his way and Noam, no, Tommaso Ciampa, sorry, and Tommaso Ciampa, uh, Noam Dar, oh, this name, sorry. Let's just forget about it. <laughs> oh my god, working on that arm, Noam Dar. Working on that arm again, why though, I don't know, maybe he wants to injure his arm break his arm so that he can't make his moves a hundred percent Ooh, amazing counter oh and he's going for his finisher he went for his finisher going for the pin it's over one no it's a war break Tomaso Ciampa you should have put him in the middle of the ring getting him into the ropes in Siguri. you should have put him in the middle of the ring Tomaso Ciampa now ducking under. We saw it earlier with Simon Ortiz, Eric Rana. Unto Noam Dar. And he is happy. He is fired up. Tracking him in the middle of the ring. Ooh, elbow. And he doesn't have elbow protectors. So this can hurt. Ooh, and he's working on the back right there. Noam Dar now getting himself into it, tracking him into the ropes, ooh, working on the knees, after the arms, he's now going after the knees, Noam Dar, suplexing him, ready for going to the top rope, as Tommaso Ciampa makes it easy and approach him, Tommaso Ciampa getting up, crossbody from Noam Dar, and Noam Dar is fired up, asking him to get up. Oh, he went for his finisher, but Tommaso Ciampa was there. Tommaso Ciampa countered it, ducking under, and he throws him again. This match can go everywhere. He went for the elbow and again for the elbow this seemed to be effective Tommaso Ciampa now saying he's going to finish it and I believe him I believe him that he's going to finish it I believe that he will stay champion as he's going for the Twenton bomb now working his turn on the arm twisting it around like it's nothing Tommaso Ciampa now is going for it finisher He's hit. Back, cow breaker going for the pin. One, two, three. Ladies and gentlemen, Tommaso Ciampa is still your 24 7 champion. And if I was you, Tommaso Ciampa, I will get the hell out of this building. Because I'm going to assume that everybody is going to be after you. And here we see some highlights from Tommaso Ciampa himself. He didn't always went perfectly for him, but like you see here, this should have ended the match because Noam Dar gave up. 
but because it was outside of the ring the referee didn't count it he going for the pin again but it didn't hit the three count as here you see he went for that back breaker with the back cow breaker and going for the pin but didn't make it because it was a rope break ladies and gentlemen it was a rope break and here is still your 24 7 champion Tommaso Champ as the referee is getting his belt back try to defend a belt at main events literally try to defend the belt at main event this is crazy he's raising that belt up high and again raising that belt up high to the fans showing off saying that hey if you want to come for a title you have to come here and that's exactly what Akira Tozawa does Akira Tozawa going after Tommaso Ciampa Tommaso Ciampa saw that coming the referee is still in the ring because you never know if Akira Tozawa wants to go for a 3 count oh and Tommaso Ciampa throws him out of the ring as he centers him but hey Jack Gallagher went to him Jack Gallagher is here as well and Tommaso Ciampa with the super kick onto Jack Gallagher they are thirsty they are thirsty for that belt and Tommaso Ciampa throwing Jack Gallagher outside of the ring and again we went for that fake slap as he oh there is Coffee Kingston Coffee Kingston with the springboard crossbody and I can't talk anymore oh travel in paradise is it over is it over for Tommaso Ciampa he's going for it one two three ladies and gentlemen we have a new 24 7 champion as I said what a what a night as I said they can come from everywhere as long as there is a referee who is there to make that recount they can come from everywhere and here you saw the recapitulation of Kofi Kingston went for the one two three count and Kofi Kingston was one of the participants in the eight man battle royale for the 24 7 champion and he is now your new 24 7 champion as Tommaso Ciampa was was literally one day a 24 7 champion poor guy but ladies and gentlemen as Kofi Kingston is celebrating and is running out of the building right now here is a confirmed an official match that will happen at extreme rules no managers everybody is banned at ringside it will be an extreme rules match Jeff Hardy against the new Daniel Bryan for that WWE Planet Championship and it will be an amazing it's not a main event but it will be an amazing match and ladies and gentlemen as we are heading now into the third match and the last match and the main event of main event you can clearly say that it was an amazing thing to say but Zack Ryder is making his series debut as he's heading into the ring but against who is he facing against Sami Zayn Sami Zayn is here and he is making his return oh and he faked a little bit and he's going to suplex him onto the steel right there and he's now throwing him into the ring so that the match can begin Sami Zayn making his big return against Zack Ryder working on the back and a backbreaker hit Zack Ryder and again with the feet onto Zack Ryder's back and Sami Zayn not giving up what does he have in mind using those ropes and bulldog no uh, I don't know if it was a bulldog a DDT it was a spinning DDT I can't I can't anymore ladies and gentlemen I'm making too much WWE content with a suplex from Sami Zayn what does he have in mind another suplex from Sami Zayn and Zack Ryder didn't even hit him once he didn't even hit him once and this time Zack Ryder counters it oh he went for the forearm it's not really a forearm it was more a running clothesline and Sami Zayn turns around this time he went for a drop kick and Zack Ryder is now in the match taunting to the audience looking at Sami Zayn again and he went for the running clothesline again 
getting him into the corner spinning DDT he's getting him up now Zack Ryder seems to be in the match but Sami Zayn saw that coming and a hurricanrana from him getting now onto the third rope Zack Ryder makes it easy to roll over him but Sami Zayn now was jumping for the rope taunting him now Ooh, with the punch into the guts punch into the face getting him into the ropes what a movement from Sami Zayn what an arm drag Ooh, getting an insecure into his face and this is the great return match from Sami Zayn and the great debut from Zack Ryder and they were talking to each other right now I don't know what they were saying Blue Thunder from Sami Zayn he hit the Blue Thunder getting into the ropes he's going for a halluva kick there it goes no Zack Ryder got it Zack Ryder countered it is now going into the third rope Zack Ryder no Sami Zayn got up and he escapes he get out of the way Ooh, with an elbow oh what a leg drop was his finisher move oh taunting the crowd right now talking to Sami Zayn again getting those punches now into the corner oh knees and a drop kick from uh, Zack Ryder. I was going to say Sami Zayn. Zack Ryder forearm and Sami Zayn. What is that? Oh no, he's going for it. He's going for it. What a stomp. And to Sami Zayn. He went for his finisher, but Sami Zayn was there instead. Getting him into the corner. Oh, forearm from Sami Zayn this time. And he's fired up he is going to end it he's going to end it once and for all blue thunder again what the hell is this match all about getting him into the in the corner and a luva kick hit he's tired and and Zack Ryder rolled over going for the pin one two no not a three count after a luva kick Zack Ryder is giving his everything. He deserves now a shot in the main roster. Ooh, with the kick into the guts. What a running clothesline from Zack Ryder, talking to the fans right now. What a man! What an absolutely beast! Oh, Sami Zayn countered it, getting again into the ropes. And again, that incredible arm drag from Sami Zayn, the Canadian. Oh, what a drop kick! And I think, yes, he's holding his face. He's busted open. Zack Ryder is busted open. He's bleeding. The hell out of it. Getting into the ropes again. What the insecurity? What the hell are we witnessing right now? And again, working on that arm. It's the second time. He's going for it again, Blue Thunder. And this should be the, the, the end. This is absolutely going to be the end. Zack Ryder is, is... He gave his everything. He did his best. Yeah, he's going for a submission. Zack Ryder did his best. But sometimes... You gotta give up. And that's exactly what he, do, what he does. What he does. No, not at all. What he does. So Sami Zayn won on his debut and here again so that leg drop was incredible and he the woo I, I call it the woo woo train with the stomp into his face was also incredible but Sami Zayn showed that he was better tonight hitting his blue thunder right there it was an incredible match ladies and gentlemen and I absolutely love that here again he hits his blue thunder 
Sometimes you have to give up and that's exactly what Zack Ryder did. You can be an amazing superstar but sometimes you have to give up. So ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed. Drop a comment if you got any ideas. And subscribe for more WWE Universe mode content. I'm so glad you tuned in. And we'll see each other in the next one. Please take care.